Hi everyone, today is a very exciting day in the Lightroom editing world as Adobe has released a new version of Lightroom which includes a new AI denoise feature. This new AI denoise is far better than the older legacy noise reduction we have had for a long time. Third-party apps such as Topaz ruled the roost so to speak with their AI processing applications but now we have a solid AI denoise tool inside of Lightroom which I believe is just as good as those third-party apps, if not better. Let me show you this new feature in action and I'll also compare it to Topaz Photo AI just to see how good this new Lightroom tool is. Lightroom's new AI denoise is found in the Develop panel under the Detail tab. You still have access to the older noise reduction and it's under this Manual Noise Reduction drop-down here. So you can still access those noise reduction sliders but today I'm going to show you how to use this new AI denoise. And I think you might agree that this is an incredible tool to use. Now I've got an image here shot at ISO 6400. It was quite dark and I have raised the exposure quite a bit. And you can see there's a lot of noise in the image, especially on the eyes there and on the background. So to use this new tool, you go into the detail tab and you simply just click this denoise tab there. So we have a few options here. We have this denoise option. We also have raw detail and super resolution. Now, previously we've had access to super resolution, but now we've got this denoise algorithm built into this enhanced preview. You can't denoise and use super resolution, unfortunately. So if you want to use super resolution, you just got to unclick that denoise and click super resolution there. But today we are going to use denoise. So it's a very simple slider that we've been given. It's a one slider that does all, and it's simply an amount slider. Now, in my opinion, I think some of the third-party apps that we have had access to, like Topaz, they become very complicated because there's just so many options to choose. And I prefer something a lot simpler. So I tended to use just the default values inside of those programs. But for this new Lightroom AI denoise, it just gives you one amount slider. So simply just increasing the amount increases the effect of that AI denoise there. I'm just going to show you on this preview, you can see the eye there. If you go down to 1%, you can see it's basically not taking away any of that luminance noise reduction, but it is taking away a lot of the color noise reduction. And then the further up you go, let's go to 20%. That effect just gets more noticeable. Now you can take it all the way to 100, but the details start getting lost a little bit there, but it does do a very good job at taking away that noise. Now I've been playing around with this quite a bit today and I've found a value of around 40 to 50% gives me a very natural looking image. So you can see here at 50%, that is the enhanced image. And if you click on the screen here, it takes away the preview. So you can actually see the noise that existed on the image to start with. So you can see at 50%, it's taken away a lot of that noise there. Now one note on this, make sure your sharpening is set to zero. Otherwise you're going to increase the effect of that noise. So let me just show you here. I'm just going to increase that sharpening to 150, click this denoise and let it load. And then you can see now because we've sharpened the image, everything still looks very noisy. So just remember that when you do go to this denoise tab, just take the sharpening down to zero. So I'm pretty happy with the value at about 50%. And then by default, this raw details is checked. You can't uncheck that. So that little box there is grayed out. And then down below, create stack. That's going to create a DNG file and stack it with the original raw file. This new AI denoise is actually going to create another DNG file for you to edit from. So once you are happy with the amount that you've selected, you just click enhance and then it's going to create the new DNG file for you. If you look at the top left corner here, you can see the progress and then it's going to spit out a new file next to this one. So I'm just going to let that load up. So it does take a few seconds to process, but here we are, here is the result. You can see next to this file name here, it's got an enhanced-nr.dng just to show you that that file has been enhanced. So I'm just going to go into the library. I want to do a side-by-side -side comparison of these two files just to show you the difference it's made. On the right hand side, we've got the original file, so you can see all the noise there. And then on the left hand side, we've got the denoised file. So you can see, especially in the mouth here, there's a lot of noise that's been taken away and it hasn't softened the detail. It's taken the noise away, but it's still kept that detail very well. You'll remember with the older noise reduction, it would soften the image quite a bit. 
So this one does a very good job at taking away that noise. So this is at 50%. I like leaving it at 50%. I think going to 100% on that noise reduction takes it away completely, but it makes it look too good, if, if that makes sense. So I like to leave it at 50. Still keep a tiny, tiny little bit of grain there, but I think that is looking pretty good. Now I've added a third image here. This is an image I processed with Topaz Photo AI. I didn't upscale the image. I just reduced the noise on it and sharpened it. But you can see there's a lot of artifacts here. And to me, the result is very good, but I feel like we can get a better result with Lightroom's new Denoise AI. So this is the DNG image we made now. And I'm going to compare it to the Topaz. And you can see, although the Topaz image has had sharpening applied, the Lightroom Denoise AI looks a lot more natural. And now I'm just going to come into the develop panel. And I'm going to add a little bit of sharpening to this new image we made, just to put it on par with that photo AI image. So I'm just gonna do a basic sharpening here, something about there. Let's go back to library and compare it with that photo AI edit. And the output from Lightroom to me is a lot more natural compared to the right hand side done with Topaz photo AI. And that's probably why I'm going to switch to Lightroom's new AI denoise permanently. You can see there's a lot less artifacting going on here. In this photo AI, there's a lot of strange things happening. So the one question you might have is when do you apply the denoise? Do you start with denoise first and spit out the DNG file? Or do you edit your file and then go to denoise last? In my opinion, I prefer working on the native raw data for the image. So my suggestion is to work on the image first and then go into the AI denoise last and then do that and spit out that DNG file. You can then further tweak the DNG file but that is my suggestion. If you're interested in learning more about how to process inside of Lightroom, check out this video next, where I show you how to add mood to your wildlife photography.